Hi guys, I'm Yusuke from Kurado Jowaku. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A video. I asked questions I think last week on the YouTube community page. Yeah, so let's get right into it. Uh, first question, how to have more stability while doing kicks? Uh, thanks for asking. Um, I think as for kicks, if you want to be stable, you have to bend to your back knee. Uh, for instance, uh, let, let's say you're walking, right? Whenever you walk and let's say you're running, and you want to stop suddenly, I think you, I'm pretty sure you bend your knee, right? You don't just stick your leg straight, right? That's because our body is used to keeping balance when we bend our knees. That's how they absorb the power. So when you kick as well, bend your pivoting leg and kick. Also, pay attention to the position of your arms. Um, yes, in karate, you are taught to keep your arm up here always when you kick as well. But when you start out, relax your arm and just follow the natural flow of your body to you know, fling your arm however you want it to be. Our next question, do you think I can reach to Shodan? I am actually in the eighth queue and I'm 18 years old. Yeah, why not? I mean, you're never too late to start karate. I think the beauty of karate is that everybody can do it. It doesn't really have, you don't really have to be super athletic in order to reach a high you know, goal. If you can break down every movement of karate, um, especially for kata, there is a concrete answer, right? So keep on practicing, and I'm definitely sure that you're going to reach Shodan. Uh, please watch my kata tutorial videos if you want to learn kata as well. Next question, how long does it take to get to where you are at right now? Um, it depends on the intensity of your practice, how long you've been practicing as well. But as for myself, it's been around nine years nine ten years since i started karate so i guess if you see my videos and see my skill set i would say that many years but honestly speaking um my development in karate it the i guess the how you call it it increased the most in the first three years and that's when i really really uh practiced um, uh, the most intense way so i guess Three years, try hard, and I think you can reach a pretty decent level. Um, what is your favorite kata? Um, my favorite kata is, I don't know, maybe I get this question a lot and it might be, you know, changing from time to time, but I like Jion, Niju Shiho, and Sojin. They're all heavy, you know, very rooted to the ground kata. Uh, what is your favorite martial art besides karate? And do you like traditional or modern tra uh, martial arts more? Um, mm, that's hard to say. Um, recently, I like watching sumo. It's really amazing that within those few seconds, they're able to understand the body balance of the opponent and throw him on the ground. I mean, in karate, we have, you know, a two or three minutes of the actual game time and we're able to analyze the opponents but in sumo it's like five seconds and it's done so i think it's very um it's very fun and interesting to watch sumo and do you like traditional or modern martial arts more um i i don't favor either one of them it's just they both have a lot in common and it all comes from the traditional one so um yeah i like both of them uh, how many countries have you visited? Uh, like, like 20, I think. Um, starting from North America, so Canada, USA, um, Mexico, uh, Jamaica, um, and then over to Asia, so Japan, South Korea, China, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, Taiwan, uh, Philippines, uh, where else? Uh, in, in Europe, Spain, France, uh, Italy, um, Greece, Georgia, Turkey, and then Egypt. How many is that? I think that's it, yeah. Probably like 17, 16, something like that. Um, how can I get a shirt from Wako? It's, it's Waku. And if you can respond to my last question, please. Um, if you guys. <laughs> really want the t-shirt that I always wear, the black one. Um, I might, you know, do a merch when I reach 100k. So please wait until then. 
Um, if, if we keep on growing at this rate, um, we're going to reach 100k by next March. So look forward to that, please. Uh, next one. What's the, res what's the result difference when kicking with your standing foot flat on the floor compared to standing foot on tiptoe? When you, do, when you go tiptoe, that means you can rotate your leg, right? Which gives you distance and gives you the power because you're rotating. Um, I think you can see that in a, a video that I've done before on uh, Mashigeris. So I'm pretty sure I have the video right here right now. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys go tiptoe when you kick. However, in the case of Maigiri or um, Kekomi, where you have to push through the opponent, that's when you have the feet flat on the floor. So I guess the point is, if you want to um, push the opponent flat on the floor, if you want to deliver power quickly, pa, um, and leave it inside their body, then I think you go tiptoe. I think that's the difference. Yeah, so I guess that'll be it for the Q&A video. I'm, I'll be doing this by the end of this year, so around December, end of December. So by then, I'm gonna um, put that in my community so you guys can, you know, write your questions in it. Um, also, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos as well. And also consider subscribing to my online group lesson, which I hold every weekend from right here. So I'll see you guys next time.